Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from Singapore Mass Olympiad from 29. In this problem, we have x is equal to 13 over SQRT root of 19 plus 8 radical 3. Based on x, we want to evaluate the expression that you are seeing here. In this expression, we have a fraction. For the denominator, we have x to the power of 4 minus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 18x plus 23. And for the denominator, we have x squared minus 8x plus 15. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve this problem, let's start with some simplifications on x and then we will try to extract the polynomial that you are seeing here in this fraction. We have x is equal to 13 over square t root of 19 plus 8 square t root of 3. You can verify that 19 plus 8 square t root of 3 can be written as 4 plus radical 3 to the power of 2. Then we can remove 2 with radical and then we will simplify it as 4 plus square t root of 3. From here, we are going to use another identity. We are going to multiply both denominator and denominator by 4 minus square t root of 3. Then the denominator is going to be 13 times 4 minus square t root of 3. And the denominator is going to be 16 minus 3, which is 13. Then 13 in the top and bottom can be removed. And then at the end, we have 4 minus square t root of 3. So based on what we did, x is defined as 4 minus square t root of 3. Now we have x is equal to 4 minus square t root of 3. So we can say, x minus 4 is equal to negative square t root of 3. And if we squared both sides, we will have x minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 3. Or x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 3. Remember, we wanted to extract x squared minus 8x plus 15, which is the denominator in the fraction that we have. Let's try to extract that. To do this, we are going to divide 16 into 15 plus 1, and then we will remove 1 from both sides of this equation to have x squared minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 2. So based on what we have here, x squared minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 2. Now we need to find the other things that we have here. To do this, we are going to use long polynomial division. We have x to the power of 4 minus 6x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 plus 18x plus 23. The degree of this polynomial is 4. On the other hand, for the denominator, we have x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 15. And the degree is 2. We are going to find the quotient of this division. Since the degree of the denominator is 4 and for the denominator is 2, the degree of the quotient is going to be 2. So we will have x2. Now, if we multiply the quotient by the denominator, we will have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 15, which is x to the power of 4 minus 8x cubed plus 15x squared. Then, if we subtract them, at the end, we have 2x cubed minus 17x squared plus 18x plus 23. Now we need to continue this path. Here, the denominator is going to be the new expression that we found. The denominator is a still x squared minus 8x plus 15. And then we need to find 
a new quotient. To do this, we are going to see that the degree of the polynomial that we have for denominator is 3. The degree of the polynomial that we have for the denominator is 2. So we will have x for the quotient. We also have a coefficient for x3, which is 2. We are going to reflect that in the quotient. At the end, we have 2x times x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 15. If we subtract the result, at the end, we have negative x squared minus 12x plus 23. Now we need to continue this path to find the last term for the quotient. The degree of the polynomial that we have for both nominator and denominator is 2 and we have negative 1 in the denominator for the coefficient. So the quotient is going to be negative 1. And if we do it, then we will have minus 20x plus 38 for the final remainder. Based on what we did, we can say that the result of this division is going to be x to the power of 2 plus 2x minus 1 plus minus 20x plus 38 over x squared minus 8x plus 15. Remember, x squared minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 2. So we will have minus 20x plus 38 over 2. If we do the division, we will have minus 10x plus 19. And if we simplify it, we will have x squared minus 8x plus 18, which is basically x squared minus 8x plus 15 plus 3. The first one is 2, and then we will have 2 plus 3 or 5 for the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzle and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.